everyone, so this is Floor's 23 month update. I cannot believe she's going to be two next month. It's blowing my mind. Um, I just had a birthday a couple days ago, and I've been joking that that was my last birthday because I turned 29, so I'm going to be 29 now from now on. And I keep saying that Flora's birthday is not going to happen. She's not going to turn two. She's going to stay one. Makes me very sad. So, anyway, um, I'm in, in the midst of planning the party. Like, I've been such a slacker about this. We didn't do a first birthday big party because we were just moving. And we just had, like, a low-key family dinner. Um, but this year we have a bunch of toddler friends. And uh, I think we're just going to do, like, at home, like, I don't know if we'll grill. Um, but some kind of food and then cake and then pool or sprinkle or really low-key. Um, so that'll be fun. But I don't even have a theme. Like, I'm thinking either Curious George because she really likes Curious George or Monkey George, she calls him. Or Fancy Nancy because, let's face it, my child is Fancy Nancy Incarnate. Or, um, what was the other thing I was thinking? Like, robots or something? Um, I'm not really sure. I think Fancy Nancy would be fun and, like, really creative because it doesn't, ha like, have to be about the books, like, themed with, like, her. It can just be, like, dress-up clothes and sparkly stuff and, um, all the things that I tend to shy away from with Flora because I don't want to push her into that, but she loves it. So, and, like, tutus and things. Okay. So that's that. So let's talk about some new things in within the last month or so. So first of all, um, she knows most of her shapes. Um, she knows all of her colors now. She knows her ABCs. Like, obviously, okay, I didn't mean to say it like that. She knows her ABCs. She's known them for months. And she can count to 22. So um, she's doing great. Like, this is like a crazy learning explosion. Um, my mother-in-law came and she did a lot, a lot of iPad, which I, we do not do the iPad during the day, like, at all. Sometimes at night she'll play, she won't even play games, she will, um, watch YouTube videos with my husband of, like, trains or, she'll pick something, she'll be, like, dog sleeping, and she'll want to watch, like, a YouTube video of that. But, um, my mother-in-law and her did a lot of games, and they actually, some of them did help with, like, shapes and stuff, but... I don't like the idea of that teaching her. But anyway, um, she also became a master at, like, unlocking and tapping. Oh, my gosh. I was looking through Instagram the other day, and I was like, I don't remember what I was doing. She was like, you just tap it, Mommy. Just tap it. <sighs> She's so smart. Okay, she can draw a fish <laughs> and a circle. Um, I knew she could draw a circle because we were doing a lot of shapes and stuff, and she's really good at doing a circle. But my mother-in-law would draw her a lot of like really simple fish with like bubbles and then she like drew the shape of a fish and then like tried to do bubbles but it was crazy I can put a picture in um it was crazy and she replicated it so I know that she can draw a fish um a couple new phrases very independent near two phrases are I have it I got it I do it um and many variations of that um and I ask her, do you want mommy to help you take your clothes off? No, I got it. I got it. <laughs> or, um, do you want me to do this or you do it? I do it. I do it. And lately she also has been saying something that's really cute but is going to get annoying quickly, I think, is, what are you doing? Mommy, mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, anything. Like, even if she knows, well, not all the time, but sometimes even if she knows what I'm doing, she just likes to hear herself say, what are you doing? <laughs> um... It's super cute though. Okay, she has also grown tall enough to turn on the light switch and she loves turning on the light and the fan. Couple new a couple a couple new words. It's not like she's saying new words because at this point she can say any word and she makes multiple worded sentences, etc. etc. But a couple new words she learned, like the names for things were stethoscope and she calls it a stepacope and diarrhea she calls diarrhea. So we started doing um Colorful oil, and just as like a, a natural source of vitamin D, vitamin A, fatty acids, all this stuff. So she gets that every other day because we were doing every day and she was going to the bathroom frequently. So one time she went and she looked in her little potty and she was like, oh, messy. And that's when I told her, oh, you had diarrhea. And she said, diarrhea. <laughs> so, such a hoot. Anyway, we are doing, it's, um... Sones brand, S-O-N-N-E-S, if you're interested. Mama Natural just did a video about, well, like a couple months ago, about cod liver oil, and she recommended 
different brand but then on our facebook she recommended this on zones brand so anyway that's what we're doing and it's super mild and i usually just mix it with like so I'm going to gem, not juice, like a smoothie or coconut milk or something, and she takes it really well. She can spell her name. Um, you ask her how to spell floor, and she says F-L-O-R. She can recognize the letter O, and I'm pretty sure she can do F, too. Um, but we're really working on recognizing the letters of the alphabet. So we started a garden as well within the last month or so, and she loves, loves, loves to garden. She loves to have water. Um... We didn't do a lot of digging and stuff with her um, because we have like a really open backyard so I don't want her to like, we have to watch her a lot so she doesn't like run. Um, so she does, she loves to water, she's good at not, she knows to not step on the plants and she really enjoys the garden. She knows the names of like the cabbage and the tomatoes and I'm so excited for when we can actually like start harvesting things. I made um, some eggs this morning with fresh herbs that we also planted herbs so that was like our first dish from our garden and she really liked it so I'm so excited for her to eat like just eat like a tomato and things I think she will really really like last it. Last thing I have are just like a couple or last notes I have are a couple favorite foods broccoli noodles yogurt same thing she's been liking she will usually try things but um I wouldn't say she's like a super picky eater but I mean she's definitely a toddler so um we have been doing something bad which is bribing her like to eat food um, so she can have a treat and it's not always like a treat treat it'll be like a fruit weather or something like that but um, she will eat so I know she's hungry and she's capable of eating she's just like being stubborn and I never try to like force her to finish her plate or anything like that I don't want to do that like negative connotation with food but she needs to eat more than like a bite <laughs> at a meal um, I'm gonna do a separate breastfeeding update for still nursing but um, I like to do those in separate videos so there's that sleep. Um, she did, she's been doing really well. Ever since we put the air conditioner in her room, like the sound of the air conditioner is like magic. So last night she slept till 8.30 till 6 in the morning. And then she woke up and came in bed with me. But like she slept straight through. And Floyd's never slept 12 hours ever. Like that's never happened. So 10 hours, it's like phenomenal. Um, which has happened a few times. So that's really good. Bedtime is easy. Naps are getting longer. Um, two hours is like the most she's slept. Um, she's easier to put down. I mean, things have just gotten better in that aspect. And, um, what are there some fun things? She likes to play picnic. Um, she loves the pool. She loves the sprinkler. We did the sprinkler for the first time and she really loved that. She's getting better at listening. Um, potty training is going great. She's pretty much daytime potty trained. I mean, she has accidents. She's not even two yet, but... Um, it's going really well. I think that's it for her 23 month update. I'll try to include a couple little tiny clips. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, I don't want to say it. I'll see you guys for the two month, the two year update. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to continue these updates because I don't want to seem like a crazy lady, um, doing more than two years. <laughs> okay. Bye. Hello. Want me to turn it around, remember? Like this. And I'll hold it like that. Okay. And now push. You do it? Yes. Great. So I forgot to mention in her update that um, she has now been helping put it on the plate. Put it on the plate. Good. Helping with meal prep. And she has um, a chore every day now. And that is to help clear the dishes um, after most meals. So um, I'm trying to... Like, you can try it like this way. Ready? Great. Great job. Thank you for helping. Good. Two. Two. To what? To frog. Many frogs. What colors do you see? And red and blue. What's that? Bison. A bison? No. What? Try again. What is that? Um, mommy. That's mommy. Mommy candle. What? Mommy. Mommy. Oh, mommy camel. It's a llama. This. What's that? 
owl. Right. Right. What's that? Mommy camel. Mommy camel. That's right. Oh. And the water. And water? And this and the water. Oh, water in their humps? And go in. Right. Go in. Right. Many birds. Many birds. Mommy, what are you doing? I do it. I do it. I do it. Can you do a bunny? Go over there and do it. Go by the go. You gotta put your hand in the in the light. Put your hand in the light. Walk forward a little bit. Go to the refrigerator. Now do it. Turn a little bit. Turn. Okay, back up. Here, here, watch. Go like this. And then you're sideways, and then you put your hand out here, and then you look. And why you do it. See? 